This guide was made from a different software. You can see there's a big flange in front. Also, the other issue is that these sleeves are intersecting each other and there are no real guide stops. So this is a problem we're going to sort out. Go to the B4D module and navigate to the sleeves for other systems. Here we're selecting the edge loop. Uh, we outlined this clearly how to do this in our video tutorials. Then we're going to make these cylinders which need to be pointing downwards into the model. Then we're going to accept those. We're going to scale out these blue tubes a little bit to get rid of these intersections. So here you have to decide how much space you need for your drill. So once these are done, we're going to commit to those and then we've got our hole cutters and our guide cutters. Now what we need to do is we need to subtract one from the other. That one we're going to subtract with a dropper. We're going to drop it onto the other one and you can see how it's cut. That one minus the other one, the, uh, the guide cutter, and then that one minus the other one. So this takes a little bit of um, uh, planning to see what needs to be cut with what. So that one we're going to scale out. We're going to then select. We're going to select that one and then put the dropper onto that that guide cutter. And we're going to repeat this until the problem has been solved. Good. Next problem is how to get rid of that flange. Next, we're going to get rid of that, that piece there. Now, we need a cutter to extrude uh, vertically down, not horizontally from our view. So this one does work on our view, but we, we're going to make a cutter for that. Place your cursor, and then we're going to click on the curve cutting tool. The curves have these handles which you can pull out very convenient to to work with. Now this curve cutter can take a little bit of time to calculate sometimes, so please be patient. Here I'm going to increase the vertex count by clicking on the plus sign and then making up my tool. So once I've got the cutter, we're going to keep the outside. This would have cut right through it, so hide the cut, and we're going to pull this cutter upwards a little bit, okay, to a certain point that we want it to be cut. Now we can go into edit mode and change the vertices a little bit. So here, proportional editing is on. I'm going to move those down a little bit. So once you're sort of satisfied with the position of this cutter, then view the cut again to inspect it. If you want to change it, hide the cut. Go into edit mode. And you can manipulate the meshes until the cut is complete and then accept the cut. And that's about it. So here we have rectified this um, guide. And uh, let's see how this goes. Thanks. Cheers.